Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Plate It Plant Based. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and that bell notification down below so you can be notified when new videos drop. So today we're doing something a little different. This is a two part video. We'll be making some arancinis today. And to go with our arancinis, we're gonna be making a very simple marinara sauce and a nice salad to go along with it. I'm gonna be making the first half of this recipe here in my kitchen. And the second half of the recipe, which is gonna involve the tomato sauce and the salad, we are actually taking it up to Idlewild. It's a little town here in California. It's uh, over by Palm Springs. A few friends are gathering up there to celebrate a birthday. And so we have a little birthday surprise for one of our friends who's gonna be my sous chef. She just doesn't know it yet. So for this recipe here, we are going to be making the arancini balls. We're gonna freeze them, and then we're gonna take them up there and have them there for dinner. Basically what an arancini is, it's a rice ball, like a risotto rice ball. It's typically stuffed with something. Uh, we're gonna be stuffing ours with a little bit of mozzarella and parsley. You could also stuff these with, with Beyond Meat or Impossible Meat, any of those plant-based meats. It's a great recipe to make ahead of time, throw them in the freezer and you can have them for dinner, appetizers or anything you want. So I'm gonna go over some of our ingredients here with you guys. I have two cups of aboro rice, a cup and a half of white flour. You could also make these gluten-free if you wanted to use gluten-free flour. Flat leaf parsley here that I've already chopped. My favorite mozzarella, Miyoko's. I've already diced these up into little cubes so it's easier to stuff them inside of our rice balls. And then in here I have one teaspoon of saffron which we're going to bloom with a little hot water. And then over here, I just have a bowl with some breadcrumbs, just plain breadcrumbs that I seasoned with a little salt and pepper. My cast iron pot heating up with some oil so we can fry up our balls. We also have a pot with six cups of water that we're going to throw our rice in to make our risotto. So we're gonna start with our flour mixture. This is what we're gonna coat our arancini balls in before we put them in our breadcrumbs. So I have one and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna add them into our bowl here. Along with one and a half cups of water. A bunch of salt. About a fourth teaspoon. And take our whisk and we're just gonna whisk the mixture together. If you're not looking for a super runny consistency or something that's too thick. It's kind of like, it's kind of like pancake batter. That's kind of what you're looking for here. So if it's too thick, add more water. If it's too runny, add more flour. So you can see, it's kind of the consistency we're looking for here. Now we're gonna add some salt to our water. And add in our rice. Our rice is starting to get thick. As you can see, it's starting to thicken up. So at this point, we are going to add in our saffron that we had blooming with the water that it was blooming in. And we're gonna let this reduce back down again stirring consistently. Add in our two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna get nice and thick. I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons of our homemade Parmesan. Stir that in. A bit more salt. Now we finished our risotto rice. We're gonna pour it onto our sheet pan to let it cool. And we're gonna let this cool for about an hour to two hours. If you wanna make it into a speedier process, usually what I do is I'll throw it in the refrigerator for about 30 to 45 minutes, and that'll cool it down a little faster. Pour this out. Ready that yellow rice. Now we're just gonna smear it onto our sheet pan here. Just kinda wanna flatten it out and this will help it cool a little quicker too. Now we're gonna cover it up and let it cool. It's out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna make a little 
well. We'll put our mozzarella in here. Put a little bit of our parsley. And then we're just gonna give it a little pinch and close it. Give it a little, form our little ball. So then what I like to do is I like to basically do this process first, roll all of my balls, rice balls like this, and then I move on to dipping them in the flour mixture and in the uh, breadcrumbs. This way I don't have to constantly be washing my hands in between doing all of this because it can get pretty messy. I like to use gloves for this process, makes it a little neater. Take one of our rice balls, dip it in our batter. Breadcrumbs. You keep one hand in the batter and the other hand rolling, you end up making less of a mess and having to wash your hands a lot less. Okay, so our arancinis are ready for the fryer, so I'll meet you guys on the other side. Go enjoy myself some balls. So this is not my regular kitchen, as you can see. So today we are in Idlewild. I came up with a few friends for a birthday and we are celebrating three very special birthdays but in particular tonight we're celebrating one special birthday my friend dom who is here with us tonight so tonight dom's a big foodie so tonight we're gonna make a few dishes that i think she's gonna enjoy i have an audience for the first time so i'm a little flushed and a little red but <laughs> and we're all in green because Green is Dom's favorite color. Woo. Don't think that we dress up in a cult. <laughs> With that said, can I can I get, we got a little sous chef tonight. So, um, Domino, this is for you, my friend. What? Got you a little yeah. apron. Yeah. So you can come up. Trust me? <laughs> That's a different conversation. All right, so tonight we are making the rest of the recipe that we started off with in the previous video. Uh, tonight we are making a marinara sauce to go with our arancini balls that we made previously down in my kitchen. And we're gonna make meatballs to go along with them just because everybody wanted extra balls. So we're gonna make meatballs, the arancini balls, a marinara sauce, and a Caesar salad. And Dom's gonna help me with the Caesar salad. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I did it. <laughs> so we're going to start with the marinara sauce. I have the oven preheating at 400. Uh, we're going to throw in our already made arancini balls on a sheet pan and then put those in the oven. And then we're going to move on to um, preparing the rest of our recipe and our meatballs and our marinara sauce. So I have um, probably going to use three counts. I'm making dinner for nine of us. So this recipe can totally be scaled down but we are making dinner for nine. So these are peeled tomatoes. They're um, not crushed. You can use tomato sauce or you can use whole tomatoes. I like to use these and then crush them. They kind of break down as they're cooking. And we have people here that don't like onions. So when you have a finicky crowd that doesn't like onions, you, uh, you omit the onions, but you still add them to create flavor. So what we're doing is we're taking a whole onion, we're just gonna drop it in the middle of the sauce to add the flavor of the onion, but not the actual onion. Because apparently she likes the taste of onions, but she doesn't really like the taste of onions, if that makes any sense. So marinara sauce. We have tomatoes in the pot. 
I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic grated into the sauce and then the whole onion. Polish dishes. What is Polish food? Well, it's hearty and it's very rich, but at the same time, you can make it light as well. It just depends what it is. Depends what time of day, depends on uh, what season you're in, but some of the most famous Polish foods are pierogi, right? Which are the stuffed dumplings that I think like everyone loves, because who doesn't love dumplings? And uh, you can fill them with uh, cheese and potato, or potato and onion, or you can do sauerkraut, and or just cabbage and mushrooms which are really good. If we're talking about balls, then we're talking about klopse, which are uh, like a, any type of meat, could be pork, could be beef, could be mixed with gravy. Um, and they're just like pan fried, so they're really good. And then my favorite is gołąbki, which translates to pigeons. There aren't actual, no pigeons in the dish. And they're uh, stuffed cabbages in like a beautiful tomato sauce like that. And you, you can put rice um, and meat. You can do a variation of things. You can do a vegan version. Oh. Maybe we can do that together. Maybe we can. Maybe we should. Vegan gołąbki. Is this the right width for you? Uh, <laughs> Oh, dumb. Don't you know? A little bit of crushed black pepper. Added my onion, the whole onion. A little bit of salt. She's slightly attached um, by a microphone. Freak on a leash, what can I say? <laughs> Feeling like a cook on a leash. Lettuce. There's no salad spinner here in Idlewild, so you know, we're just... So two cloves of garlic. Gonna add uh, two bay leaves. Maybe three, because that one's broken. You're gonna let this simmer till the tomatoes start to break down. So I make really killer sorizo tacos, if I may say so myself. Um, but I've done your cauliflower recipe and it was a hit in the household. Um, and the household is not vegan, so you know, they were impressed. So these are the arancini balls that we previously made. I'm just gonna throw these onto our baking sheet and put them in the oven just to warm them up. I'd probably say about 20 minutes or so at 400 should get them about right. And then we're gonna start on our meatballs. Somebody in my audience set a 15, no, a 20 minute timer. Parsley, we're gonna use this parsley for our uh, meatballs. Oh, it's this, this, this a sad leaf. So we're not gonna use this one. No, I don't think we should use that one. It's a lot of lettuce. You know I should have specified not all the lettuce. You know? Just, as, just enough for nine people. Um, but apparently we're feeding the squirrels in the mountains <laughs> as well. We're gonna move on to our dressing because we need to put that in the refrigerator to cool down. I'm gonna tell you what to do. You're just gonna do it. All right. Because I think that's what a sous chef is. That's right, I'm doing what you tell me to. The doer quick Caesar salad uh, dressing. So we are going to throw all these ingredients pretty much into a blender. I always wanted a really good vegan Caesar dressing, so this is really fun for me. So this recipe calls for soaked um, cashews, and you wanna soak them overnight preferably, but because we are making these pretty quickly, I just put them in, we didn't need that one. <laughs> I just put them in uh, some water, threw them in the microwave, pretty much like two minutes in the microwave and you just let them sit there. I think they sat in there for about an hour. Two hours would be ideal. Um, if you have a high-speed blender, like a Vitamix, great. If you don't, like we do, this might take a few blends. One cup of cashews, soaked. All right, Dom, you're doing the rest of this. All right. Because I don't have to cook. Now, what does that do? Does it make it more creamy? Like, so that's soaked? gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be like our, essentially our base to our sauce. Okay. So to this, we're gonna add one cup of water. Give this a good blend. Blend up the... Cut. Oh, wrong finger, sorry. Cut. <laughs> it must be really painful. But look at her backpack, guys. And a first aid kit. I mean, who travels like this? That was Michelle, guys. Back to our recipe. It's, uh, Dijon mustard. Yep. Dijon, it's a pretty intense flavor. I'm not a big fan of Dijon, only like it in like small quantities. So if you want more of that Dijon flavor, you can add up to like two, tea, two tablespoons, but we're doing two teaspoons. And whole garlic clove. We are gonna use my homemade Parmesan. Find that in the card above. Yeah, thank you. Usually this recipe calls for nutritional yeast, but we didn't have any nutritional yeast, so we're using my Parmesan. It so is really delicious, by the way. Two tablespoons of Parmesan. 
Uh, we are going to use some black pepper. That should be enough. A little bit more. Okay. You gotta season with purpose. Yes. Salt. 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 Nope, more. Okay, good. Tablespoon and a half of capers with a little bit of the caper water. Olive oil. We're gonna drizzle the olive oil in. Oh boy. As we're blending. This is a big task. All right. Hopefully you don't get a cashew shower. You're gonna have to chef this. You put your hand over. Okay. And you're gonna... Um, low? low? This is, yes, this is an that's interesting one. All right, oh. so that's good. Okay, and then you're gonna slowly pour this in. So that's about a fourth cup of olive oil. Mmm, yeah. I don't work out, so this is my workout. Should start back up. If we crush down our tomatoes a little bit. They'll continue to break down. You're gonna bring this down though. You don't want it too, too high. So we're gonna bring it down to like low heat. Pour that into this mason jar. And throw that into the refrigerator. And we're gonna continue on with our balls. Go pretty liberal on this. Yes. Whenever you think it's enough, add more. That's not enough. No, no, I'm doing, it's like uh, maracas. These holes aren't very big. <laughs> I've heard that's a good thing. That's what she said. Okay. I think that's good. If they're salty balls, it's gonna be your fault. So you gotta and use your brush. This is the best part, you guys. It's like when you're little and you're playing in mud. It's great. I have three packages of Impossible Meat. Um, this should give you about 20 balls, depending on how big you like them. I like them pretty big. I like them pretty small. So, All right. So let's go for medium. We're gonna go compromise. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna go medium today. For these uh, meatballs, is I have a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs, just regular breadcrumbs, about two tablespoons. Good. Handful parsley. of parsley. You want to know a secret tip about parsley? Two. Yes, I do. If you have great, if you have dogs and their breath smells bad, oh, yeah, I heard that. Give them a little parsley, mm -hmm. and their breath smells great, and they like it for some reason. It's very weird. Anyway, that's a little tip about be two cloves of garlic. You got about a clove and a half. It's all good. All right. I can go back in. No, it's okay. okay. Wet garlic. There's nothing wrong with wet garlic. That's actually one of my favorite bands. So now, once we have our balls rolled, we're gonna throw them on our uh, frying pan here, get them nice and browned, and then we're gonna serve this up. That is so good. Thank you, Sully for feeding all of us. You're welcome. Very quiet audience. I don't know, everybody talks so much about wanting to participate in this. I hear, I hear just like crickets. We'll put a laugh track later. Yeah, we'll put a laugh track for the audience that we said we had. Hey Dom, fun fact about you. Do you play sports? No, I played the violin. Is that a sport? And the piano. Not in America, it's not. In Poland, though, we have Polish sprinting. We play the violin, and then we run from the communists. <laughs> <laughs> it was number one in my country. <laughs> like, the texture of this is really nice. It's like meat, right? Yeah, absolutely. We have an Italian in the audience, I gotta. Yeah, we gotta watch ourselves. <laughs> we gotta step it up. Her mom will probably be watching. Yeah, you're getting graded later. Shout out, Marina. shout out to Marina. Yeah, Marina. Marina Testa. Marina Testa. Hope I love you. <laughs> Makes some of the best food that has ever come across my mouth. Oh, we're gonna have a yeah. We're gonna have to have a, a video with Miss Miss Marina Testa. She might steal your spotlight, babe. It's okay. I'm okay with that. You know, there's certain people. Star. So certain people you're you just you just bow down to. Yeah, it's true. I think we bow down to Marina yeah, for sure. She's she's fed us for many many years. Start frying up some balls. Fry up some so of my balls. get this going. Male seamstress in Polish, Taylor. Sh uh, chef. Chef? Chef, S-Z-E-F, chef. That's a tailor. I know, isn't that weird? Oh no. Do you say chef in Polish? Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. Uh, Should we call mom? Yeah, and the, well, I'm trying to think what a cook is. 
Can someone do Google Translate? I'm being an embarrassment to my family. I hope my uh, my Bobcha's not watching. Sorry, Bobcha. Sorry, Bobcha. We got our balls in our pan. I like the We're sound gonna, of that. We're just gonna brown them up. Um, as she makes them, I'm throwing them in. Uh, probably just like a couple minutes on each side, just to kind of get them nice brown and crispy. So wait, what's Taylor? I think it's uh, Kravitz. So what's Chef? I think it's Chef. <laughs> We've come full circle, everybody. How do I say I'm making meatballs? Um, yeah, it'll be a, well, it would have to be klopse, because a meatball is a klops in Polish. So, yeah, it'll be a klopse. Oh, gotuje, yeah, yeah, gotuje klopse. Much slower, please. Yeah. Yeah. Gotuje. Gotuje. Klopse. Klopse. There you go, you said I'm cooking meatballs. I'm Polish. She is, honorary Polish. Overnight people. They smell really good, you guys. Mm. I'm gonna finish off the rest of these balls. We're gonna top off our salad with some Parmesan cheese and our dressing, and we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, more? As much as you like, Dom. This is your dinner. Oh, well, all right. This way, if they don't like it, it's not my fault. We always seem to have an Italian feast when we get together. We do. Right? Yeah. It's always like Italian food. Maybe we're just trying to impress our Italian queen. If you want to see Marina, tell me in the comments below. Yes, yes, definitely. Take a vote. Oh, that's good. More dressing? I think that's good. Do you like your lettuce overdressed? No. Are ready for the party? <laughs> ready for the party. Maybe a little bit more salt? Yeah. About to have fun. Okay. So we're just going to blend this up a little. technique like right let's go around the onion yeah around the onion marina would be proud i think so we're gonna take some of this sauce we're gonna just drizzle it over our balls looks so good uh for those that like onions this onion is to die for just like this you can chop it up serve it on the side yes uh, for those that don't like onions just skip it Good job. Here, let me help you. It's like a solar system. All right. Beautiful. We got our Italian feast. Yes. I think it's shot time. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Go for it. This is the true test from the birthday girls. How is it? Mmm. Good. Do we like it? Mm -hmm. I thought we'd get the audience in here. Yeah? So you guys know what we're talking about. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's go eat. So for more recipes like this one, hit subscribe. And that bell notification. To be notified when new videos drop. Balls!